The international media are lying, as usual, about the reasons for the heavy collective protests in France. So I'll read it for you. Here it says, Media Liars. And this is actual happening now in France. This is a picture taken like today or a couple of days back. And here it says, Not about pension reform. Here you see the French police. And here's the people, you know, just burning the whole thing down. The lying international media say that the protests are about the Frenchies not wanting their retirement age to rise from 62 years to 64 years, thus showing the Frenchies as lazy in order to ridicule the movement and give credit to the authorities for whom the media work in the first place. No, it is not about that at all. Here it says, I'll read it for you, the law, Article 49.3, making Macron literally a king. And again, a picture, an actual picture of today or yesterday or two days ago, maybe. And the protests are about the law 49.3, which allows the French president to take political decisions and create new laws without a parliamentary vote in the Senate thus giving the French president the feudal authorities of a medieval king, which has totally destroyed the republic and horizontal rule, for which in 1789, short just 89, it needed a very bloody French Revolution to get rid of the old feudal vertical rule by kings and queens. So here it says, feudal system is back officially. And this picture here is not from a Hollywood movie or something like The Exterminator, no. It was taken in Paris yesterday. Can you believe it? And neither is this from a Hollywood movie like The Godfather or something. No, this is actually happening now in France and the people are just so fed up. Now, today, 2023, the whole French Revolution has been for nothing and obsolete. And this has upset the entire French population very, very much, because they are very proud of their French Revolution, their guillotine to cut off some ears left and right, and their French fighting spirit against any type of oppression. So, I explained the picture here for you. Here it says Republic versus Monarchy. So this this guy here, he's in the monarchy now. The Republic, the chairs is empty, it's gone. And the Republic, it, uh, it came in the revolution of 1789, which the French just call 89. And now we've got the law 49.3, short 49 so 49 killed 89 and the the republic i can already say was was a horizontal rule because there are many people democratically in parliament they are discussing and they're doing a vote in the senate 
and the majority wins. So this is called horizontal because all these people together, they sit horizontally and they, they, they are all equally important. Whereas in a monarchy, I mean, I'm not talking about King Charles because this is a constitutional monarchy. King Charles is not a real monarch. You know, he has to abide by the by the horizontal rule of the the order of the garter. But a real feudal monarchy, it is a vertical rule, as it is today with Pharaoh Macronos II and his 49er law. You know, and I told you, he got this red pin, meaning he's of the red house of Pharaoh, and he's been showing it all the time. And now we're here, bang, this is it. The horizontal rule versus the vertical rule, or 89 versus 49. Well, the 49ers, they've got, they won now. And France is officially a dictatorship, a feudal dictatorship, a despotic, and um, the king is back. I have been warning you all for the last 12 years here on the internet that I see the feudal system of the nobility coming back and now it is done. In France, democracy is officially dead and replaced by a despotic system in which only one man, like an emperor or a pharaoh, can solely take all the decisions for an entire nation and an entire people, which is called a vertical rule straight down to the last person in the empire without any intermediary of any parliament and without any democratically made decisions. This system is also called the beast system. In a republic, though, there is a horizontal rule in which many politicians at the very same level can take the political decisions by means of voting, also called democracy, which is horizontal. Okay, both systems both vertical and horizontal, belong to the same pharaonic nobility, also called the pharistocracy, with these red pins here for the old world order, for the red house of Pharaoh. This is why the Bilderberg group was set up by a German Nazi prince in order to destroy the Republic and bring a royal, total control, feudal aristocratic system back, as in Pharaoh's times, the beast system. So this is the sole reason the main reason for the Bilderberg Group, which was founded in the 50s, and now they made it. They destroyed the Republic in order to get the feudal system back. And now in France, it has happened and the people are raging because they don't want to live under a king anymore and especially not under pharaoh macronos ii so the chaos in france and the people raging is not really about the pension reform 
but it is about how Pharaoh Makronos II, all by himself, in a despotic way, as an evil emperor, just made the new pension reform law without any democratic parliamentary tools decided by hundreds of people inside the Republic. He decided all by himself through that new law of Article 49.3, making him the dictator of France, Pharaoh Macronos II. And I fear other countries will follow, because you have to remember this, that all new political systems have come out of France. The vertical rule of the feudal system of kings and castles started in France. And that is why French became the international language of the nobility. And then the horizontal rule system of the Republic made by the Knights Templars and their Freemasons also came from France. And now a vertical rule feudal system inside the horizontal democratic republic also comes out of France, with Macron becoming the king inside the republic. It's getting real weird and chaotic now. A vertical rule inside the horizontal rule system. You just couldn't make it up, can you now? We're in the transition time now, before the beast system, and therefore it needs chaos in order to create order afterwards, the order of the next system coming up. The Republic is dead, and for the transition time, it needs ordo ab chao, order out of chaos. So here you can read about Article 49 of the French Constitution from Wikipedia. I'll read it for you. Article, well, a part. <laughs> article 49 of the French Constitution is an article of the French Constitution, the fundamental law of the Fifth French Republic. So we're in the Fifth Republic now. I think it's from 1958 or something. It sets out the political responsibility of the government, the executive branch, towards the parliament legislative branch. It is part of Title five on relations between the parliament and the government articles 34 through 51 it structures the political responsibility of the current administration of the executive branch towards the french legislative branch this section of the french constitution outlines how the legislative system try tries to maintain the stability of the executive branch by providing the branch with alternatives outside the parliament. It was included in the constitution so as to counter the faults of the Fourth Republic, such as successive rapid government takeovers, by providing the government with the ability to pass bills without the approbation of the parliament possible through subsection 3 of article 49. So this is what the 49ers, what it's all about, this here. I repeat it by providing the government with the ability to pass bills 
without the approbation of the Parliament, possible through subsection 49.3. So meaning the, the French president has become a king and it doesn't need any horizontal uh, Republican part of the whole deal anymore. He can just decide everything himself, just like a feudal king. And the article, which comprises four paragraphs, was designed to prevent crises. Well, it's, it's more the opposite, like, like those that occurred under the Fourth Republic. It's best known provision, subsection 3, article 49.3, allows the government to force passage of a bill without a vote unless the parliament votes a vote de censure motion of no confidence well they did it but it didn't help such a vote has little chance of passing oh there you go since it may also entail the dissolution of the legislature pending new elections article 49 subsection 3 provides for well etc etc so the French king, he used the um, article 49.3 in order to pass the bill concerning the, um, the, retirement, um, the retirement thing, like uh, passing the retirement age from 64, uh, 62 to 64. And this is the part that completely set in rage the entire French population. And uh, because they have made it, um, they've made the French people to understand it. And this was, of course, the purpose. So everybody understands this because if the media wouldn't have shown it, nobody would have understood it, you know. So this is exactly what they want in order to create the chaos. You know, this is what they want. And this is going to create uh, inflation, a uh, economic uh, fall, and um, th they're going to replace the money by um, electronic money and chips. And this is what they want, you see. So you always have to think like uh, 10 moves ahead and a couple of moves further than what you see with your eyes, right? So these are the 49ers, yeah? That's, it is all about the 49ers. And yes, in fact, there is a lot of resemblance to the US 49ers and American football. On the field where the players are, there's a tough battle going on in which the referees have no more control over the game and the 49ers seem to be winning. And on the main stand in French Parliament, there's a lot of shouting with the various shields being displayed by the supporters of the game and the adversaries of the game. It's like American football with the 49ers being on the winning hand. So in France now, the Republic is dead. It's dead while having had 49.3 degrees Celsius fever, fever because of the organized attacks by the 49ers of the feudal pharistocracy and Pharaoh Macronos II. So here it says the Republic is dead, which you can see here. Probably says the Republic here on his feet. And there's a fever of 49.3 degrees Celsius. Also, France's Prime Minister, Elizabeth Bourne, played an important role for the 49ers. And it's like she is the French branch of Jason Bourne, 
who assassinates the enemies of the Republic, while Elizabeth, born the Prime Minister, killed the entire Republic with it. So here it says, Prime Minister Bourne assassinates the entire Republic. That's her most hated person after Macron in France at the moment. And well, most of you know this guy here, Jason Bourne, Jabo, you know, uh, J-A-B-O, like James Bond, because of Yachin and Boas. It's the same, you know. And he continues, or he did, where James Bond sort of stopped right, in the series. Jabbo. I call them Jabbos. Yeah. And here it says the Born family. So here it's Born without a U, and this is Born with a U. And Jason Born assassinates the adversaries, the enemies of the Republic. And she kills the entire Republic with it. That's the Bourne family. And to terminate within the realm of the vertical and the horizontal, Stefan Eimer was the owner and CEO of France's biggest chain of laboratories called Biogroup, who had dared to criticize the all powerful Swiss Roche pharmaceutical company that the infamous PCR machines didn't work properly. A few days later in Paris, he was pushed out of a window from a high building on June 22nd, 2022, doing first the vertical and finishing with a horizontal. A long vertical drop, then kiss the concrete and maintain in a horizontal position. And June 22nd is part of the frame window of the summer solstice rituals the day before. So I read it for you here. Here you can see the good looking, still young man. He was only 52 years old. Stefan Eimer, the CEO of Bio Group, June 22nd, uh, 2022. It probably was in the night, you know, like in the morning of June 22, which is definitely the realm of June 21st. You know, it's not even daybreak at June 22nd, you see. They got the whole night to do these sort of things, which is still in the realm of the summer solstice uh, rituals. And I wonder what uh, Pharaoh Macronos II was doing at this very moment. Oh boy, I do wonder. So here it says the vertical first and then horizontal. This movement here, it's called a defenestration from the French word fenêtre, which is a window. And of course, they said it's a suicide in the media, the authorities. I mean, look at him. He looks good, man. He was a multi, multi millionaire, very rich, very successful, good looking man. And, you know, why, why would he kill himself? You know, he got suicided. So first he did the vertical and then the horizontal. <laughs>